south. Right. And I know by now, there ain't no lying low. There's too many of us for that. And there ain't no way Dutch is gonna just hide away in a cave somewhere. What is it? Why we stop? against everything he stands for. That'd be admitting we're nothing more than low-down criminals. Which we are. You don't have to tell me. So where does it end? Where does what end? The moving, the running. Dutch don't see it as running. Call it what you want. I don't know. Before? Put enough time and distance between you and the problem, eventually it went away. And this is a big country. But now, with these Pinkertons, better paid bounty hunters, I ain't so sure. Maybe the price on our heads got too big. Yeah, they've certainly got money behind them. They've got Cornwall's money behind them for one. Which guarantees even more trouble. Yep. I think that must be it up ahead. The old dried up creek. Seems very open. Yeah, it does. Ain't sure to be the best in the rain, neither. Well, let's take a look around. Hey. I see something over there. Easy you now. Someone on the ground there. been shot. Let's be careful, Arthur. Hmm. There's a camp just up ahead. Sure. Let's get ready for business. Any issues? Shoot first to Bates. I'm not sure for the sake of it. All right, Charles, let's go take a look. Look, here it is. A few tents, but the place looks empty. Let's have a look around and make sure. Where is everybody? Maybe they heard us coming. Be careful. I'm being careful. Someone's been here. Sure. It's okay. It's okay. 
And come out of there. You okay? You don't mean no harm. He said, are you okay? Sprechen Sie Deutsch? German? No. Now go on. Get out of here. Go. We need the land. Go. Get the hell out of they here. They took our father. Who did? Men. Last night. Where? Where did they take him? It ain't no business of ours. I don't even speak their language. You ain't as tough and dense as all that. Come on, Arthur. The girl was pointing this way. Let's see if we can pick up a trail. Yep. There. Tracks. Come on. I don't see nothing. Hoof marks. This one. What's going on with you? What do you mean? You were just going to send that woman and her children on their way? We're wanted, man. We got Pinkertons braiding down our necks. We should be moving camp, not running off on some wild goose chase. Come on, Arthur. That's not how you are. Well, maybe you don't know me as well as you think you do. Hold up. Let me check this. Looks like they go down this way. So, what happened with those Pinkertons anyway? When you were fishing with Jack? Said they were on to us. Offered me freedom if I turned Dutch here. <laughs> they picked the wrong man there. We should have moved right then, if you ask me. Wait a second, just want to look closer here. Look, they go along the shore there. I see them. So like I was talking about, the bastards told me they killed Mac. They said it right in front of Jack. Ah, that kid, it's gonna be tough for him. Yeah, but he has more folk looking out for him than most of the rest of us had growing up. John said he was going back to the auction yard to collect the money for those sheep. He'd be a damn idiot going anywhere near that town right now. Nah, he reckoned he'd be able to slip in and out. Oh, well, if it's John's idea, it must be a good one. Easy. What is it with you and him? Oh, uh, he disappeared on us for a while. When Jack was real... Wait, just let me make sure this is right. Ah, uh, they continue on that trail ahead of us. Good eyes, Arthur. Let's keep on them. So, yeah, when Jack was real young, a long while, a year of war, he did? And we was family, you know? Hey, quiet now. There's a camp up ahead. Be careful. It seems deserted. Let's take a look. this guy I don't know but you know something this is a better camp spot than back there much easier to defend maybe careful this looks like our feather Charles quick cut him free and let's get out of here are 
Are you gonna cut the rope for me? Vorsicht, Vorsicht! Das ist eine Falle, Vorsicht! I see three! Coming this way! What the hell do you think you're doing? What? Thank for your help. Yeah, okay. Hey, you wait there a second. Charles, go find Dutch. Get the caravan to divert here. This spot should work for us. I agree. Take you back to your family. Was machen wir jetzt? Also soll ich mitkommen? Bringen Sie mich hin. What the hell did you do to those fellers? Wie bitte? Those men back there, why did they take you? Geld, money. Meiner Familie gehört eine Goldmine. Sie wollen Lösegeld erpressen. It, how did someone even come up with them words? Sie bringen mich zu meiner Familie? Vielen Dank. Wie haben Sie sie gefunden? Look, I'm sorry, friend. I can barely speak English. Ja. Yeah.
Dem Herrgott sei Dank. Schatz! Oh. Andreas, oh. Andreas, ich hab gedacht, du seist tot. Beinahe wärst du gewesen, meine Lieblinge, meine Herz allerliebst. Oh, wie wunderbar. Oh. Sie sind ein großer Mann. Ja. Ein großer Mann. Ja, wirklich. Es ist ein Segen, dass Thanks. wir sie getroffen haben. Come on, now get out of here. This place ain't safe. Get out of here! Ja, ja, Vamos. alles klar. Vamos. Uh, ich hab was für Sie. Einen Moment. Uh, ähm... Dankeschön. Thank you. Vielen Dank, herzlichen Dank. Guess it was a pleasure. Ja! This place, oh, it'll be perfect for us. Hello, Arthur. Dutch. <clears throat> Miss Grimshaw, Mr. Pearson, put everyone to work. Make this place a home. Well, I don't know where the hell we are, but we are going to make the best of it. Another day. Okay, a little better. Good. How are you? All right. Hey, do you think? Do you worry? What? Do you worry that maybe we've lost our way? How do you mean? Morning, Arthur. Ignore that. I won't pretend any I know just what you mean. I don't know. Things seem bad. The world is changing. And I'm not making much sense, am I? No. But somehow, you summarize how I feel. Man, it seems the same as always. And then it, it seems like there's just no other way, and I, I, I just... We got out of worse situations than this. Done plenty of bad things that we've all forgotten. Don't take Dutch's patter about redemption too seriously. We're doomed. Just like every other creature on this rock. But I'm like them. We'll go down and fight them. Is that what you believe? 
don't know, son. I don't know what I believe. Apart from wishing I wasn't going to find out sooner than I'd like. Place that still looks dry. You busy, Arthur? Javier, I heard about a house. It could be interesting. What kind of a house? I don't know. A couple fellas I heard in town, they said, said it was really freakish. A family local boogeyman, I guess. But they're crooked in every way. So? Well, so these boys thought they were sitting on a lot of cash. And they're highway robbers, kidnappers, apparently. They're well hidden in the woods. Well, sounds pretty dubious. Of course, yeah, yeah, it's dubious, but there ain't much risk of getting caught. Okay, then. Let's go take a look. Exactly. Just take a look. Look up north, on the other side of the river from Valentine. The best way there is through Cumberland Falls, though. You know it? Sure, more or less. Okay, we're pretty close now. Let's stop and go on foot from here. Just up the hill this way. Follow me. There's a spot up ahead where we should be able to get a good look at the place. I want to make sure we don't run into any surprises. Sure. Apparently, this family's been isolated for so long, they started talking in their own weird dialect. They really don't like outsiders, especially on their turf. <sighs> well, you just keep selling me on this job, don't you? Well, big place, right? <sighs> you got your binoculars? Pretty big barn in the back. Not a bad place to start looking. There must be a lot of people living here. A large house. This desk could be in any one of them buildings, and who knows how many people are in there. <clears throat> I ain't sure about this. Boy, I, I think we need to draw them out somehow. And I got an idea. Follow me. All these trees, I can't get a proper look at the place. Well, hopefully it'll make it harder for them to spot us, too. The coast seems clear so far. Yeah, so far. Hey, keep it down. 
down. I hear voices. Come on, let's hide behind the shed. See if we can hear what they're saying. Creepers, Finn. Don't score notions in the Dickie Fleming's head. Where you been now, Newt? Don't be boiling now, Pappy. I has gone but ten minutes I was. You can holly gag all the now day long, cause Edie takes patrol now, don't you? What? No, oh, Edie, get all the jam. You shut your gulper, or I'll flag her your felt, I will. You need to pull it up. Guard the shed. Go! You understand what they're saying? Not much of it. What are we doing, Javier? Okay. You take cover by the rock over there. I'll create a little distraction, and then you jump them, okay? What kind of distraction? You'll see. Check in there first.
You want the money or not? Come on. I told you it was worth the trouble, didn't I? Yeah, you take this. Let's split up. I'll meet you back at camp. Right, sounds good.
Let's go, boy. Yep. Okay, then. Plenty of road to spare. Suggest you use it. Hey, mister. Can I have a word? No way I'm stopping for you. Hey, hold up a second, will you? What do you want from me? You need to give me all your money right now. Don't play tough about this. Your skull is about to be some... God damn it! There we go.
Easy. Easy. Hey there, partner. I just don't want him to see me. We're not friends anymore. We're not. They won't forgive you. Uh -uh. They, they, they didn't forgive me. There is no forgiveness. None, friend. None. I, I know you want it. Smell it on you. <laughs> well, it ain't happening. No, 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 it isn't. <laughs> that's why. That, that, that's why uh, I'm out here, well away from them. <laughs> they come for me, but I'm watching. <laughs> I, I never sleep. I, I never do. Look out.
Welcome, friend. Christ, I'm liable to get robbed with this much coming in. Thank you. Welcome back. Something slip your mind before? A lot of folks coming by with these lately. Let me know how it works. Put yourself under a train of state. Come on, ladies. Is this her line of work? Well, I know man's face. Try to keep it civilized this time, friend. Been a while since you came through town, ain't it? Got everything you need. Have a look. Righty. Let's see what you're selling. Place is still only just recovering from that bloodbath. Next time Cornwall can handle his business in some other town. It's always here if you want to take another look. Thanks, partner. Hard. No need to think that all. It's just a game. Oh, hello. What's your damn self? Oh, you think you're real scary, huh? I'll show you scary. Come on, little boy. Let's settle this like men. You know what? You're on. I'll be doing the world a favor. Come on, let's go outside. <laughs> 
Reginald didn't get you. Nobody stop me drinking. I'm going belly up. Watch yourself now. That old fuss budget, Miss Potter, Hello, was in here yesterday. Hey. Hello, mister. <sighs> Move next time. Face like yours ain't easy to forget. Hello That's there. The What's it to be? Said to me. This here's a cut for a stand no nonsense man. Come on, sir. Try to remember what really happened at Sylvia's Saloon back in 76. Just a lot of bunk, Plato. It's just a lot of bunk. It's not bunk, Mr. Calloway, sir. It's history. Ancient history. Done and dusted. The dead got off lucky. The living got to keep suffering. Who's your friend there? Put that in your fucking book, Plato. This is Jim Boy Calloway. The Jim Boy Calloway. Who? The gunslinger. Fastest left-handed draw that ever drew breath. He once killed 14 men in a fight at Luzi Hollow. What are you waiting for? How do you mean? Well, I reckon right now, kill him yourself. I don't want to kill him. 
I want to deify him. He's a god. I'm trying to write his biography. How's that going? I think I'd prefer the duel. Either I'd kill him and be able to be Baltimore's finest ever gunslinger, or he'd kill me and I could be set free from ever having to speak to him again. Well, you're starting to understand something very important. What's that? The joys of gunslinging. It's win-win. Freedom or glory. That's brilliant. I'm gonna write that down, if I may. Be my guest. <laughs> What's your name? I don't have a name. But you are a gunslinger. Not really. I mean, folks who need shooting, I try and shoot in the back. All that other stuff, it's, well, bunk. But you fought duels. Once upon a time, I may have. And you ain't interested in fame. <sighs> I don't think so. Strange. But you like fortune. I need money, sure. Okay, then forgive me, mister, if I seem a little desperate. I am a little desperate. This book, I've got to make a thing of it, and, well, there's a whole list of gunfighters. Legends, every last one. Emmett Granger, Flacco Hernandez, Billy Midnight, Black Bell. Never heard of them. Maybe you can go and speak to them. Ask them about Callaway. Any of them get uppity, shoot him. I can't believe I just said that, but... You want me to go and find some sad, deluded fools like him, ask if he was the greatest, and then if they get uppity, shoot him? Does sound a lot worse than it did in my head. How much you paying? Well, a lot. Half the proceeds of the book, if you help me get it written. I'll see what I can do. Ha! Oh, get photos. Okay. And there are notes on the back of those portraits that should lead you to him. I'll see what I can find out. I imagine we'll be stuck here upon your return. Here are some other flop house.